Hello Virgo and welcome to your gratitude reading for November the 20th through the 30th. Your rune this week is the Burkana rune, the rune of love. Yay! Your stones are Labradorite, Slayer of Darkness, Bringer of Light. Let's find him in there. There we go. Directs your energy, helps you to seek out your purpose, clears and protects your aura, brings transformation. One of my favorites, we have calcite, brings empathy, helps you to tune into your emotions, express your needs, get back in the flow, and dissolves old beliefs. We have tree agate, inner peace, calms nerves, clears blockages, connects you with nature, and helps you to focus on the oneness of all things. And then we have obsidian, the most powerful eraser of negativity. It helps bring manifestation, is truth enhancing, and is a magnifier of your energy. Okay, in the center of all our readings today, I put our clear quartz the most powerful healer and it also brings clarity okay so your stone people card ooh, is buffalo medicine abundance yay it also reminds us not to be wasteful of anything including uh, the hard lessons that we've learned your spirit animal is the lynx, which is all about secrets. There are secrets being held from you. That could be in a personal uh, way, in a personal relationship. It could be your job. It could be uh, yourself. Okay, our sign and symbol card. Oh, look, the buffalo. You got two buffaloes. That's really awesome. Sacredness and abundance. Your four agreement card. Do your best because you want to. You do your best when you are enjoying the action or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. You do your best because you want to do it, not because you have to to do it. Not because you are trying to please the judge and not because you are trying to please other people. You do it just for you. Okay, we have, ooh, the Sundance self-sacrifice. What do you need to sacrifice to move forward? to lead a better life. We're not talking here about uh, sacrificing your skin or anything like that. We're talking about sacrificing things like a negative attitude, about bad habits, people who are not good for you, a job that is not good for you, it's about sacrificing the things that are holding you back. Okay, Sister Moon says, oh, work through your fears. Yes. The trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Meaning share that with others, share your ideas. Um, work with others 
and you will have even more abundance. Maybe that's why you got two abundance cards here. And then we have Moth Spirit. Surrender now. Whatever you think that you are 100% right about, surrender that belief. Whatever you are holding within, the fears, um, the secrets maybe, surrender those. It is only going to improve your life. Okay, so we did have homework from last week, and you were to write a list of the things that you are grateful for. So first of all, I want to tell you I'm very, very grateful for you as a subscriber and for your support. I am truly thankful and grateful. Um... Then our list, I started out with the most basic things like water and air and food. Sometimes we forget to be grateful. Uh, three quarters of the world does not have water available on a tap or it's not even safe water. Um, and then I moved on to things like home and children and family, to the abilities that I have to do things for myself. I moved on to nature, the sky and the sunset and the stars. And then I've moved on to things that we do ourselves, within ourselves, creativity innovation, compassion, empathy, kindness. And those are all things for me that are really easy to be grateful for. But just like with love, it's very easy to love sweet, kind people. It's very, we find it difficult to love people that um, are not showing us kindness, that maybe are, are angry or selfish. But that is where the challenge comes in. Because, yes, we are to love our brothers and sisters, but we were also told to love thy enemy. That is where the challenge comes in. And it is the same with gratefulness. So it's very easy to be grateful for the lovely, beautiful things. But can you open your heart enough to be grateful for the most difficult, hardest times in your life? When you were hurt or heartbroken or you lost someone you loved. Um, can you open your heart enough to be grateful for even those things? Because they are the things that caused your soul to grow. Who made you who you are. And so it's important to be grateful even for those things. And our first quote, it talks about that. True forgiveness is when you can say thank you for that difficult experience. Okay, and then we have a quote just for you. The door to wisdom, creativity, and the whole universe is gratitude. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with an open and grateful heart. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.